No rice, no pizza, no pasta, no bagels, no donuts. I think that's pretty obvious, but I wanna mention it here. Anything that has carbohydrates, you should not eat. Are you constantly fighting against headache or pain in your stomach? Do you have arthritis and joint pains whenever you try to touch something? Because that was me before I found the carnivore lifestyle. And in today's video, I want to share with you how you can get started easily on the carnivore lifestyle and what benefits you could have if you get started. The first thing that we need to figure out is why do you actually want to do carnivore? Is it to lose some weight? Because on the carnivore lifestyle, there's a lot of people that lost hundreds of pounds. Do you have a headache? Do you have other symptoms? You need to figure out your reasons so that you can stick to the lifestyle to actually not fall back into old habits and eat sugar and stuff again. I want you to commit to the carnivore lifestyle for at least two to four weeks so that you can overcome the sugar withdrawal symptoms that you will have and actually profit from the carnivore lifestyle. Usually at the beginning, you will feel really bad if you are somewhat like me me then you come from a very high carb based diet and in the moment you stop eating sugar you will have basically symptoms of withdrawal like you would have on any other addiction for example you will have a lot of headache probably and you will crave sugar a lot but don't worry that will go away it usually takes like two weeks or maximum three weeks for me it was rather quick that i uh, was not craving sugar anymore and then i actually had only the positive effects of the carnivore lifestyle as a small side note i want you to know that when you get going with the carnivore lifestyle and implement the things that i have to say throughout this video that you will most likely suffer from diarrhea or constipation there's some people that get diarrhea and other people cannot go to the toilet anymore at all but it's more likely that you will have diarrhea and I want you to know that this is fully normal because the bacteria in your gut is definitely not able to process all of the good nutrients in the meat so that you will end up having a little bit of diarrhea but it will go away over a period of time too as well as the symptoms of craving sugar. Do not expect this diet to be like a magic diet that will just miraculously heal everything that you have because whatever you have currently, what you're facing, it probably took like a decade or two to actually manifest, so that if you have problems with your gut or something, you should just stick to the diet as long as needed for your body to actually heal. So how much can you eat and is there any limits of how many times you should eat in a day? Let me answer this question super simple. If you are hungry, you are going to eat. If you are hungry again, you're gonna eat again. It does not really matter how many times throughout the day you eat, but you should stick to a somewhat human schedule. You should not go in the middle of the night and eat something and then go sleep. That's pretty obvious. But if you are waking up in the morning and you are hungry, then just eat something. And if you are a couple of hours later hungry again, just don't think about it too much and just eat as long as you are hungry. At the very beginning, you will be a little bit confused if you are actually hungry or not. That is fully normal. You need to adapt again to the diet so that you need to figure out again Again, hey, am I actually hungry or is this the sugar craving but that will get easier over time don't worry about that too much so like I say just eat whenever you are hungry and eat as much as you want as much as your body needs in the moment you limit yourself on this kind of diet it will backfire on you because you will crave the sugars again but if you are giving your body the nutrients that he's actually craving in the moment you are hungry then it will slim the chances that you fall back in old behaviors and touch the sugars but what can you actually eat on the carnivore diet if you are coming from a normal diet then you do not really know now okay can i eat cheese can i eat dairy what can i eat at the beginning you can eat any form of meat you can eat bacon you can eat eggs it doesn't really matter what kind of meat you're eating as long as it is a one ingredient animal based product you should be fine what i mean by that is that you should not necessarily go to the daily meats which include a lot of different things that are not even uh, carnivore for example some of the sausages include onions or they include sugar which you should definitely not touch you can eat chicken pig beef steak butter ghee any form of animal fats is okay black coffee unsweetened black tea green tea no problem you just need to stick to the one premise of not having any form of 
of sugar or artificial sweeteners except stevia that should be fine it should not spike the blood sugar but technically it would be better if you are leaving out any form of sweet taste out of your mouth so that you do not blow yourself out of the ketosis and out of the good effects for what we are actually doing the carnivore lifestyle now that we have a rough idea of what we can eat what is the things that we should avoid at all costs there is some stuff that is pretty obvious but other stuff is not so obvious so let's get into the basics what to not eat you're gonna cut out any kind of seed oils sunflower oil palm oil it does not matter the name of the oil every single vegetable that you know no matter what people tell you vegetables are not your friends on this diet from Brussels sprouts to broccoli it doesn't matter what vegetable you're not going to touch that stuff no rice no pizza no palm pasta no bagels no donuts i think that's pretty obvious but i want to mention it here anything that has carbohydrates you should not eat if possible also you should not touch dairy or any kind of milk products because they are inflammatory for some people and if you are someone like me and have a little bit of a problem with lactose it will basically blow your effect of the carnivore diet and you will think that the diet doesn't work but it was just the cheese that you were eating and you will maybe misled by the effects of the carnivore diet just for eating a little bit of cheese so i would recommend to also cut out the cheese and then if you stick to these basic guidelines of food what you can and cannot eat after a period of 30 to 90 days you should experience some changes in your body and at that point i want you to make a self-assessment of how you felt before the diet and how you feel currently with the food that you are eating at the moment do you feel any improvements no headache anymore no more joint pains did your mood improve did you have any kind of health related improvements then you could potentially stick to the carnivore lifestyle that would be perfectly fine at that point in the diet if you had all of those good improvements you can incorporate some food again that you want to eat but do it once at a time so that you will know if that food is okay in your diet or if you should cut it out again. In the moment you are starting the carnivore diet, it's also called the elimination diet. You're basically cutting out absolute everything that could harm your body. And if you're like me, then you will experience a lot of positive effects and then you can just figure out what kind of food did you eat before so that you then when you implement it and get all of those inflammatory diseases back you just cut it out instantly again you'd never touch it ever again so basically what i did was incorporating some uh, rice again and it backfired on me i could definitely not handle the rice was the carbohydrates i had the joint pains coming back my mood was affected by it again so i could make up my mind very quickly because now i knew what kind of food i should not touch anymore and i want you to approach it from the same perspective that you cut out elimination style everything and then just incorporate it one by one it is very important to do this step properly and to not lie to yourself that you are actually feeling okay or that you are not bloated with some food or something because in the moment you are bloated that is also a sign again that your body does not like whatever you introduced again so make sure to not skip this step i would say this is one of the most important steps of following the carnivore lifestyle and ultimately this will also decide of who you're gonna be in one or two years because you will exactly know without guessing what you can handle and what your body craves that does not make you sick and if you want to know seven things i wish i knew before i started the carnival lifestyle you can watch this video over here and i see you in the next one have a great time thanks for watching bye